What is going on people? It's Matt from Liquid Loans and in this video I catch up with Christian, our CEO, for some updates and all the latest news from the Liquid Loans HQ. So with no further ado, let's go. Hey Christian, great to see you. Thanks so much for taking the time and jumping onto the YouTube channel to make an update video for us. Uh, thanks for having me on, Matt. Really appreciate your time. I wanted to give a bit of an update in terms of where we're at, with, particularly with the sacrifice phase. Obviously, very, very happy with progress. Uh, I think we're close to 45.7. We're encroaching $46 million. Mm, yeah. dollars. That, that to me is just, it's humbling, but it also shows that, you know, that there's a lot of support for us in the community and we're really pleased about that. And I know it's a, a lot of this is a combination of a lot of hard work from the team more broadly. Um, so very appreciative of the work that they've put in. But more importantly, it's uh, we still have a week to go, right? So there's still an opportunity for people. Yeah. But as I said, right now, we're we're overwhelmed and, and very pleased with the progress. We're coming into the last week, like you said, I think mm. uh, we're in the 23rd day today, going into the 24th. Some people obviously have missed the first 10 days, which was the best rate. And a few questions that I keep getting asked and the sentiment I feel is, is it too late to sacrifice now? Is there any point? Have they missed the boat? Yeah, look, it's an interesting observation. And I think, you know, the traditional sacrifice phases, it's always good to get in early. And, and, and we're no different on that basis. However, one of the mechanics that we introduced that we felt um, would help people, particularly people that may have been hearing about us late, and at the same time helps us in terms of uh, the vesting schedule, is is basically delaying gratification. And so through delaying gratification, as you know, Matt, every month that passes that you delay gratification, there's a there's a 6% uplift uh, with the final month being uh, a 12% uplift mm. on, on the potential, uh, if there is to be any allocation, um, that that's going to improve your position overall. So yeah. why is that important? Because whilst there is a dilution that happens every month, of approximately 5% of your points, the fact that you're getting a 6% uplift potential um, by delaying gratification kind of negates that. Yeah. And on that basis, it, it turns out to be uh, a quite, a, quite a good outcome for people that are coming in late on the basis that they delay their gratification. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about this before, but getting into a good project early and increasing your coin count is how people you know build good positions and um, by doing that you can actually claw back any lost points you could have got from those first 10 days so as we've seen a lot of people are locking up for quite a substantial amount of time up to 24 months which is quite interesting a lot of people have also kind of asked about price appreciation even though this is more of a staking token and not such a trading token but i think there is going to be because because it is something that you can park and earn you know, constant yield on, I think that would be quite a valuable asset to hold. Yeah, look, it's it's a good observation. I think, look, obviously we can't discuss price and, and it's yeah. not something that we'd, we'd ever sort of provide or, or even speculate too much on. However, what we can say is there are certain mechanics that actually help price appreciation. One of the key mechanics is scarcity, right? Mm -hmm. So if you've got any particular token that's scarce, the scarcity actually, you know, actually helps with price appreciation, particularly when there is a, a fair amount of demand for something um, where the tokens are actually quite scarce. Now, it's actually quite interesting. We've had a look at um, Hex Pulse Info. So this is an independent oh, yeah. group that actually have created um, a little bit of information for the community, which we're obviously we're very appreciative of. But you'll notice here is, does that not look like a Hex staking ladder? Like it's, we've actually, you know, it's just, it's interesting because I, I looked at this, I've been looking at this for a while um, just to try and get a sense of how, how well have the community embraced the whole notion of delayed gratification. And this to me is exactly what we had hoped would occur. And that is, if you look at month 24, so people are delaying for two, up to two years, that's roughly about a third of people that have decided to sacrifice have also decided to delay their gratification. And there's some real benefit in that, and, and, and I'll go through that in a minute. But the other thing is we're getting people exiting out at every month. So this is happening across the board, and obviously the, the key points are six-month, 12-month, perhaps 18-month. And whilst we do have a number of people coming out on day one, 
it's roughly about a quarter of the tokens that, you know, if, if there are tokens to be issued, that they'll be made available on day one. Um, it's roughly 25% of the uh, the allocation, which to me says, first of all, 75% are actually going to be delayed. So the token's actually going to be quite scarce. Now, what does that mean? Well, potentially, you're not going to have as much supply. So we do know that when there isn't a lot of supply of something, any sort of pressure for to buy generally has significant upward pressure on the actual price of something. The other thing to remember here is, though, that we're expecting people will start to use um, liquid loans as it's intended. So whilst there may be people out there that have decided not to sacrifice, and that's entirely up to them, when they do, there's going to be a much smaller community within our community that are actually potentially holders of the loan token. Mm. And if they stake those loan tokens, which we would anticipate they would, a smaller population is going to be sharing in potentially a larger amount of um, borrowing fees for people that start using the actual protocol. Yeah. So, so you look at that and you think, oh, okay, well, what's that going to mean? Well, basically it'll mean that these folks are, are actually going to share in a significant return from those um, borrowing fees and it's a smaller pool of people doing it. So it creates a bit of a dilemma because <laughs> in some ways you think, well, maybe coming out day one would be really, really good and, and it makes a lot of sense to go into the staking pool. But just think about this. We talk about scarcity. You would be absolute nuts to sell your loan token, even if you come out day one, just by that mere fact that, mm. hey, if you're putting it into the staking pool, you can be generating some significant returns from that. Why would you sell it? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. You know? Yeah. I mean, a question that comes up a lot is what's better? Do I come out on day one or do I lock up for 24 months? And yeah. obviously, nobody knows the answer to that. But yeah. either way, whatever decision you make, as long as you don't, you know, do anything silly and get rid of it straight away, I think you're in a very good position because you have that delay gratification where you're increasing your coin count. And of course, over time, we've seen good projects go up and to the right or you enter that staking pool very early and you start collecting a good portion of all the fees that come through the system. And as we know, Pulse is gonna, gonna have a lot of action from the get-go and a lot of yeah. people wanting to uh, take Pulse and collateralize it and what's not. So it really is an interesting play, whatever you do. And I don't think there's many people, when it really the penny drops on the loan token, the tokenomics and everything around it that really wanna trade this because it yeah. is a yield producing asset. Yeah. And Matt, you're absolutely right. I think so from my point of view, and this is just a personal view, it's not, this isn't financial advice by any stretch that, you know, we talk about never selling. People mm. presume that we're only talking about pulse. We're not, we're talking about loan as well. Yeah. And this is the reason why, because yeah. now just think about this. We've already, we've talked about the whole fact that there's going to be a lot less potential supply because not everyone's coming out on day one. We've also talked about the fact that those that do and decide to stake their loan tokens are probably going to get some very healthy returns from that loan token. Mm. So they're not going to be inclined to sell either. So when's the best time to potentially consider, um, you know, acquiring loan token? Well, you know, and again, on the basis that you can't have any expectation, but on the basis that in the future, there is some allocation. The best time to, to do that is now. And, mm. and again, if people are concerned about the dilution, take advantage of the day, delayed gratification. I think the other thing that people need to be mindful of, because I don't think this is quite as well understood. Personally, I'd probably mix it up. I'd say, look, I want some coming out day one and I'm going to stake them. But I also want to delay gratification as well. Now, why? Why would I choose a mixture? One reason you would do that is because obviously you want to to maximize your returns on the loan token from the staking pool. So that'd be yeah. quite healthy to do. But the issue with that is, and this is a big point of difference between most staking pools and people need to understand this. Um, most staking pools outside of this particular protocol, you're actually rewarded in the native token. Right. So what does that what does that mean? Well, it basically means that when the rewards are provided to you, the only way that you can traditionally extract value is to sell those tokens, which puts downward pressure on the token itself, which is not a good outcome. 
in this in our situation as you know you're staking but you're not getting paid in that native token you're actually getting paid in pulse and usdl mm. so they're two of the tokens obviously that the system uses so it's actually not diluting like it's not going to place any sell pressure on your loan token mm. because the system's generating fees in other tokens and as a consequence of that you're not going to be dumping on the community you're going to hang on to those tokens because they're high yield bearing tokens so so that's one point of difference now thinking about the delayed gratification why is it different so if somebody making a decision one way or the other on the on the on the front end if you decide to come out early okay you're going to get some nice healthy returns they're going to be paid to you in either pulse or or um potentially usdl and you'll receive that for a period of time and it's nice healthy returns but you're not getting any more loan token mm -hmm. right so people that are delaying gratification particularly those that are delaying for 24 months they're getting 2.5x of their loan token now if the loan token now we've talked about what are the you know the, the fundamentals of price appreciation usually are scarcity and high demand mm -hmm. we're expecting that's going to happen we're expecting that the loan token will appreciate over the period of time so people that are delaying gratification are getting 2.5x more potentially after that 24 month period of a highly appreciating asset so the comparison is more of a really high yielding asset that potentially also has some significant price appreciation versus yeah. coming out early and staking and being paid in other tokens but still getting some nice healthy returns mm -hmm. so it's an interesting dilemma and i i personally i think mixing it up is probably a good thing yeah i agree it's a good problem to have and just looking at the chart we can see like you said that nearly a third is locked up for 24 months but the majority of the tokens are locked up much more than day one so yeah. you know if it plays out even similar to what it looks like it's going to which is obviously most people delaying their gratification and most people coming out on day one the sentiment is staking straight away me and jesse were talking about this recently good luck trying to get any loan token for cheap on the open market <laughs> that's right that's right and and so but the reality is we kind of know mm. like we fully expect that people will sell the loan token that's just a given it happens anyway but the issue will be it's a hell of a lot less supply that that will occur from mm. and more importantly imagine how vexed those people are going to be because whilst they're getting a nice healthy a potentially a hot, nice, healthy appreciation on the token. They're they're losing significant returns from this the stability pool. So yeah. it's a dilemma, and that's a really healthy dilemma for them to have. Yeah, because it actually means that potentially they're going to say, you know what, I'm not, I'm not, I'm never selling, <laughs> never selling the loan token. And as a consequence of that, it's only going to put more pr uh, upward pressure on the price of the token itself. I completely agree. Those two tokens, you know, we always talk about hashtag never selling our pulse, but as the tokenomics have come out for the loan token, it looks like it's two tokens now, yep. pulse yep. and the loan token is what we, you know, don't ever want to let go of. Before I let yep. you go, I do appreciate your time, Christian. We're into the final stage of the sacrifice yep. phase. Do you expect any significant action in the next couple of days? How do you think it's going to play out? I think, look, we've, we've obviously seen a steadying of um, sacrifices over this time. My, my expectation is that there's still people that probably have been sitting on the fence and you know one of the things that have uh, the guys in the uh, the admin group kind of made me laugh they call it the clickening you know so once <laughs> once <laughs> once people get it and they think holy cow this is a really this is a really good protocol and there's a lot of benefit to be part of this whilst they they may have been sitting on the fence for a fair, fairly long time my expectation is this type of information may help them to realize hey you know what this is something we should probably be considering and it doesn't matter that we're it's now in the last seven days because by delaying gratification we're still we're still participating and potentially we'll end up with a hell of a lot more to tokens so what am i expecting i'm expecting a little bit of a flurry towards the end uh, as people start to cotton on to the the benefits um, and at the same time, I think, you know, we, we have some aspirations and we're hoping that um, we'll break through those. But look, where, we've, where we're at at the moment, we couldn't be, we couldn't be more pleased. So very happy with the, the current state of play. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for coming on for your take on the sacrifice so far and uh, the lockups and all that good stuff. I do really sure. appreciate your time. Thanks, man. Thank you very much.
So I hope you enjoyed that update video with Christian. If you're not a subscriber yet, guys, do hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you're notified every time we drop new videos and content on the channel. You can also share the video with someone who you think it may benefit. Maybe tap the like button. And if you're feeling very nice, drop a little comment below for the algo. It does help us out. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.